Hey guys, Nailbuster. Uh, now here to show you how to get uh, Zen FX3 working on your uh, popper system, whether through Baller or just a normal popper. Um, let's go through the prerequisites here. We're going to have to, um, obviously uh, on your computer you're going to install the Steam client. This only works with Steam FX3. Um, and once you install uh, your Steam client, leave everything as defaults. So usually uh, it's best just leave everything as defaults for this. Um, and install your FX3. Now, you cannot use uh, FX3 in a cabinet where you can change monitor and DM DMD positions without getting a cabinet code from FX Zen Studios. So uh, you're gonna have to contact them. They're gonna email them through grabbing a uh, uh, code, um, and then they'll ask you. They might ask you for a picture, and you send that back to them. Uh, but in the meantime, while you're waiting for your cabinet code, we can we can at least set it up with Popper with the the media and whatnot. Um, okay, so leave everything as default. Your Steam little stubber client that starts up with Windows, don't stop that or disable that. That needs to be running on startup of your computer and leave it uh, running in your tray icon there. Um, let's uh, let's just start. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to just load up Notepad here, just so we have. Now, where I'm just doing this to, uh, so we're just covering all our bases here. What we want to do is uh, you download it in your library uh, Pinball FX3. Uh, you want to right click on it. You want to go manage and you want to go browse local files. This is so that we can make sure we know exactly where uh, FX3 is located. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to uh, I think it's data and then Steam and there. So these PXP files, those are the actual table locations. Um, so I'm going to click here in your file explorer and you want to copy and paste this. It may be good in default and already set up for you, but it's always good to double check that. So that way we know where the, um, the location of the table tables are for um, FX. All right, so we're going to just close that off. Um, actually, before we close off now, I'll also bring this, you might want to grab this. We're going to go, you're going to go into and find where your um, pinup system is. If it's on your C colon pinup system, or if you did baller installer, it'll be V pinball pinup system. And there is a pinup player.ini. Now, if you don't see these extensions, you want to hit view. And then there's a little checkbox here to hide and show extensions in Win 10. You just always want to see extensions, it makes life easier. Um, so I'm going to go and look at pinupplayer.ini. You can double click on it. It should come up just with notepad. And the reason why I'm just grabbing this is so that you can grab your positions. Info 1, that's your DMD. So if you go to Info 1, you're just going to grab these four numbers. X pose, Y pose, width and height. That's using your positions that you configure during install or what your current DMD position is. And I'm just going to paste it here so we have like a little scratch pad here so we have all the numbers. Okay. Um, all right, so we're ready. What you want to do is, so now you got Steam involved, you, you know your folders, you have the positions of your DMD. Um, you're going to go to the wiki. Uh, you're going to bring up FX3 page. Um, FX3 page, yeah, that's it. Uh, read through it. Most common issue, uh, you're going to find that FX3 do doesn't work with exclusive screen and the videos. Uh, so most people have to uh, set it to borderless window. So read through here. Um, it's showing a screenshot of where in FX3 you're going to be setting the borderless window. Okay, then obviously the video will be here. Now here's the thing. You want to, uh, here it says you will need this file for quick importing and table info. So you want to download this file and open it. Uh, it's a zip file. Inside you're just going to have a small text file that's actually make life easier in importing games. Uh, normally you don't do games like this, but because uh, Zen is unique and everyone has the same file names and whatnot. I'm just going to put it to my desktop here. So I have an uh, importer and export pup games list. Okay, and uh, that's it. Let's. So now we can start. Well, you'll be following this page in my video, but now we will be going into, we'll be going into system setup. So it's popper setup. And what we want to do is, first things first, we're going to go into the emulators, popper setup emulators. We're going to click on FX3. Uh, we're going to make sure it's active. So we set it to active. 
And here we want to make sure that the launch program files folder, if you left it as default, it's going to be there. And so you can leave that as is in the games folder. This is where we got this before. And I'm lucky that it is exactly the same position. You can just make sure it's make sure there's no X. If it's different, then you want to just copy and paste this uh, into the games folder. Okay, you can leave the media default blank. That's fine. Okay, and that's it for now for that step. We're going to save it now. Before I save it, there's one thing here: keep displays on. Normally, we're going to make sure all our media is actually um, MP4. So we want nice animated media playing on the back glass for for while we're playing. So uh, I know Zen supports PNGs and they have their own system, but we're just not going to we're not going to set that up. We're going to make sure the media in Popper is is what's used on the back glass. And so that's where keep displays on is. And we're always going to keep display on. We're going to select back glass. If you have a topper, you can put topper as well. If you have a full DMD, uh, usually you want to put back glass and your full DMD uh, underlay. Um, so you you would have both of those on. But for now, we're just going to do back glass. But if you had full DMD underlays, you, it's nice to have both of them going. And that would be set up. So that's how we set up the emulator part at this point. Okay, next. Uh, once you have that all set up, uh, we are going to go to Game Manager. Okay, we're going to go Add New Games. Uh, we're going to select FX3. And we're going to hit Scan. Okay, one second. Ah, thing is falling here. Um, okay, so now that we hit scan, um, all these come up. Now that's great. Weird file names they use and whatnot, but uh, we're not going to actually add. This just shows that we have the correct settings and the correct uh, locations all set up. What we're going to do actually is going to go back to the all games, and we're going to select FX3. Okay, now. Actually, this is a good point I should do. When you're doing things like this in Popper, always, 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 always come here, go Popper Setup, and look, the little backup button. It makes a copy of your DB in case you screw up and you want to quickly go back. Always make backups, people. I look, I hit backup. It's only a small, like probably a five megabyte file. You can do it multiple. Look, I'll do it again. No problem. It time stamps it, so it just keeps on making multiple copies, very small files. Um, so... I just want to double, triple check that you're doing that. Um, so again, we're going to go back to the All Games first tab. And we're going to set... Let me set that going. All right. So we're going to set uh, FX3. and It's empty now. And you want to right-click. And you want to go Import New Games from File. Right there. Not Update Games. That's for if there was three or four new games that came out and we wanted to add the three or four. But right now, we're going to Import New Games. It says skips if exists. And on my desktop, I have the one here, MB2. That's the one I downloaded right now. And I hit open. Because, hey, are you sure you want to do this? I hit yes. And look, it just imported 99 games, all properly set up with alt run modes, all with the all with the uh, things set up like that. It's just great. It just set up all 99 games for you all at once. Now you're like, hey, I didn't buy all 99 games. Well, you should. They're good. And it supports Zen. But if you didn't, all you do is select the ones you don't want and just go visibility inactive. All right. And if you purchase them, you go back to it and set it to hidden. Uh, or if you really don't want to see them, you can hit delete and then add manually the old way. But then again, they won't have all the nice fields set up for you. Okay. And let's say you actually at this point have all the... Um, all, all the games ready to rock and roll. It should automatically be in your playlist right now. Um, if we go to playlist and go to Pinball FX, yeah, they're all there. You notice the names are weird, but that's just the way they are. Um, and if you want, you go to Media Manager and you would select FX3. If you want to grab wheels, you would go grab the wheel image. Yeah, we know how to do that, right? And uh, see which ones you want and use them so all the media can be done that way okay um, so now it's time to actually um, I'll bring up what you have to do so now that we have that it's time to go and setting up um, how to get your D your DMD LCD or real DMD up and running okay and this is all done at the um, 
running FX3 manually. So run FX3 manually. It says here what you have to do. You have to go into its settings. And because this is after you have your cabinet now, because you have your cabinet code, you can do these things. Uh, usually your orientation will be 270. Your dot matrix reposition will be on. You set these positions. Um, these positions will put the, um, the, the, the FX3 mini on, on your screen. Um, on your sorry on your main screen at zero zero if you want this is where I did this over here you can move and set your screen position don't worry about your width and height but your positions if you want to move it if you have an LCD DMD uh, you may want to put them and set your uh, your your horizontal position um, there and the, and the uh, vertical position there so horizontal would be your X vertical would be your that's if you want to move it, and, and maybe it's best you could put it on there, and you can you can see it. Uh, if there's issues, you'll know if it's running and whatnot. So you put that on your LCD. That's only for an LCD DVD. Uh, if you want to put it on your back glass, you can as well. Um, and then here, uh, after that, you're going to go into the FX3 options, UI streaming, and set your dot matrix to off. And once you have that all done, and your cabinet's working, you just have to set one thing up, and that one thing up is here again. Uh, you need to go now and set up your launch script. So we will go now into back into our emulators, FX3. Now we go to launch script. Now if you did baller installer, really all you have to do is, if you set up FX3 properly that way, is you're going to have to remove these two rem lines. It says right there. And that's it. That's You're pretty much done. And let me put this back. My light is falling here. Okay, um, and so once that is done, that's it. You, you, uh, you proper. If you're, if this is if you use the baller installer, you are done. Everything should be working nicely. If you didn't use the baller installer, the only thing you really have to change is this: you know, the location of your V pin main. Okay, so if you have a normal popper install and you want to set it, that might be C colon visual pinball forward slash V pin main, wherever your your or D colon, wherever your normal, you want to change this position to be where your V pin main is. Okay, uh, but if you did the baller installer, it has a global variable set for you, so you're all set for that and you run it. And uh, that's it, your, your, that's it, your tables, it should be running now, it'll run, it actually has alt params done and whatnot. Let me, um, minimize all this i'll exit and launch let's see where we are so yeah if i go to my fx3 uh, now you'll notice obviously i don't have the media set up but if you hit enter to bring up the games menu and uh, normally it'll just launch it but it even has alt run modes hot seat 2 hot seat 3 and hot seat 4 those are how to launch with two player three player four player which is cool but if you just hit you know the start key at, you know the one uh it'll just launch directly and uh, yeah, everything, your DMD should be working and everything should be working just by that. And uh, anything else, you, you, I don't want to go into it too much, but uh, um, everything else is listed here. There's more advanced things. If you have a DMD3, you might have to put, you, have, you will have to put some timeouts. Um, whether or not uh, this section is cool, but read the rest of this if you want. I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, the, the important one here that is big and it'll take you a while is the uh, SSF and DOF links. That's, uh, and then we have some cool things here and uh, other things for volume six and the good old NARS. You'll learn about NARS soon enough. Uh, Zen has a bug with Mars, which is funny. But anyways, uh, that should get you pretty much 98.5% there. I'll talk to you later. Bye.